Hey my loves, today I have for you a chit chat to get ready with me video. It has been the longest freaking day and I needed to film today um, and I have to get ready. I don't have the patience at this point to film an actual tutorial so I thought I would use some new makeup products you guys haven't seen in use yet. Um, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Monarch palette as well as some other new goodies I have that I just haven't used. I usually like to do my brows before I um, do my eye makeup so I'm going to be using this new Brow Wow powder from The Balm and I don't know if I put up the haul where I showed all the things that The Balm sent me but I have this little powder and I have it in the shade Light Brown. And I'm just going to use an e.l.f. small angled brush for this. It's my current favorite. Ooh, it's kind of powdery. Is it really sad that I just admitted to you guys that I have like no patience to actually film a tutorial today? Oh, that's kind of a good color. It's a pretty good color match actually. Um, I was going to film a tutorial and right as I was about to film this, like literally five minutes ago, um, this chair I bought from Target and if you watch my vlogs, you've already seen it. And one of the legs just broke. I don't know why um, and I'm hoping Tyler can fix it so I'm in a little Ikea like plastic chair I use for filming gaming videos but by the way the foundation I used today the reason I didn't film like uh, putting in my foundation or whatever because I'm sure you've already noticed that's done the uh, Maybelline fit me dewy plus fresh because I'm doing kind of like a culmination video of all the new foundations that I have and testing them so it's not like 60 second reviews every day of the week so that's why I already have that on and I wanted to see how bronzer sat on top of this because I really I really like the foundation like I don't want to totally spoil the video but I really like the foundation holy cow this is kind of a dark powder um it's okay right now when I have a lot of root but when my roots are you know when I touch them up in a week it might be a little bit too dark so I really like the foundation but I don't feel like contour sits well on top of it. I feel like it almost turned out kind of blotchy. I'll probably have to pull down some baby hairs when I go and style my hair so that it doesn't look so bad. Is that like, does anyone else do that when they're having like a bad foundation or a bad bronzer day? Just pull down a crap ton of baby hairs. Yeah, like I said, I think if I really wanted like super kabam brows or whatever, this would be a good powder to use. And when I have roots, I don't think it's so bad. Um, but when my hair is like down and fully blonde and whatnot, I don't really think I'd use this. It's just too bad. It's, you know, a nice enough brow powder. But I'm just going to quickly settle them in with some gel. Settle them in. The crap am I on? Set them. Okay, so now that that's done, um, I've already primed off my lids. I do that usually when I do my concealer. So I think we're going to go into eyeshadow. And again, I'm using the Monarch palette for this. So I think first off, I'm just going to take this really nice kind of like taupey brown matte shade. And I'm just going to run it through the crease really quickly. So I'm just going to run this through the crease. Um, I really, like, this color is calling me. Like, I really want to use it, but I think I'm going to start off with this really pretty, like, pinky shade. And just using a small flat brush, we're going to put that on the inner portion of the lid. So, I don't know when this video is coming up. I'm going to Tampa at the end of March to go and film a swimwear lookbook, mostly to go see my friend Michelle, because she's living down there. Um, but also because I want to film a swimwear lookbook. This is a really pretty shade. I really like that. I just jammed my brush into my bronzer, but that's pretty. Also going to take this terracotta that's just like screaming at me to be used. Oh, I can't believe I've never used this palette before. You know how long I've owned this? Since like November, I think. Um, oh, I just realized I didn't contour my nose. Hmm, I'll have to do that in a minute. I really like these colors. They're so pretty. Like my inner makeup lover just won't even let me talk. She's just like, oh, let me play. Uh, I'm sure that was an attractive face. Anyways, I'm really, really, really excited to go to Disney at last. I miss it so much. Disney is my favorite place ever, 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 ever. And it's been so long. I There was one point in my life where I think I went three times in a year. And I mean, we lived in Georgia, so it was a trek to get down there. I'm actually going to use uh, that color, just so you know, on a pencil brush. Just put it a little bit better into the crease. Yeah, I went uh, three times in a year. And granted, it was like, I was in organization, so I was in like band, and we went, and then I was in a youth choir, and we went. My, that youth choir I was in, I was like 12, I think, when I was in it. And we toured the United States. 
Um, and I don't know if that's because we were a particularly good youth choir. My church just had a lot of money to spend. Just gonna blend, blend, blend. I have clean makeup brushes right now and there's literally nothing better. Before we move on, just because I feel like I'm gonna forget, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose really carefully. Uh, just because I like the way that it looks. I never get a nose job. At least I don't think I would. Like, I talk about it and people are always like, oh, if you could have one plastic surgery... Actually, that's complete and total bullcrap. Usually, nine times out of ten, someone's like, where in the world? Oh. Um, if someone's like, if you could have a plastic surgery and it's totally free, what would you get? And I always... I was going to say that I would say a nose job, but honestly, it'd be a boob job. I think I'm going to take this really dark brown in the outer V. Was I saying something important? Probably not. Oh, yeah, the boob job thing. Okay, yeah. I really like my boobs, um, but like... They're the first thing to go if I lose any weight. Oh, my memory card's yelling at me, so I'll have to go and empty it in a minute. But I'm just putting that color down. You know what? How long have I been filming for? And now I'm going to obviously blend that because that does not look cute. I just like that color to be nice and blown out, although I really like this look so far. Hoping I don't screw it up. <laughs> Lately, whenever I do makeup looks, I like totally screw them up for some reason. Now I'm going to start off with this brown under the eye, and then just so I don't have to like pop back on here and tell you guys, I'm also going to take the terracotta shade just on the outer corner. So I just got in my ColourPop blushes while I was downstairs. Uh, my FedEx guy just delivered them. Oh! Oh, I have a story to tell you about UPS here in a second. You know, I can't talk during like certain steps of my makeup routine, I just can't. Um... But I just got in my ColourPop blush order, and I'm real excited, so I'm going to use those today. Now obviously it is time to blend because blending is just key. I wish I'd known that when I was like 16, but blending is key. I'm like slouching. Gotta get better posture. See how good I look when I'm like sitting straight up? Not like in a narcissistic way, but like look at how much better I look. And I'm like, meh, meh, meh. Hubby texted me and asked if I wanted to go to Starbucks when he got home. Just like as a little, I love you kind of gesture. I think he doesn't know that I'm already a little bit crazy today. He's like the cutest ever. I hear like some people complain about their spouse and I'm just like, I love mine. I think he's precious. Ooh, I get to use my new Morphe brushes. This is the G, no? Yeah, the G13. Um, Fluffy brush. I just washed these for the first time last night. So I'm going to use this to highlight the brow. Oh, this is a pretty highlight shade. It really, I thought it was going to be kind of yellow. Um, you know what? Did I even show this to you guys? Probably not. Hi, this is a video. I'm supposed to be a professional. Um, this is the highlight shade I'm using. I'm going to take this really pretty pinky color and just pop that right on the inner corners. Okay, so we're going to do some liquid eyeliner now, and we're going to keep it fairly thick. I like how I'm like questioning myself while saying that. Like, is that really how it's going to be? Hmm? Oh, my hands are kind of shaky. Too much caffeine. Also, I may pluck my eyebrows. They look like a mess. You guys probably already know the drill if you watch my videos that I like to do mascara and lashes the last, so we're going to jump into the rest of the face for a second. Um, I'm pulling out all my ColourPop stuff right now. I don't know which one I want to use. Actually, you know what? Putting them side by side, I think we're going to use the Color Quarters. It just... <laughs> look at it. So, this is a tiny elf synthetic brush. Never going to get over this. This is so freaking beautiful. Alrighty, so then on the tops of the cheekbones, oh, we should use something other than my MAC Mineralite Skin Finish and Light Scapade, but guess what we're going to use? Then I'm going to set everything just using Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So I'm going to go ahead and put on a bit of eyeliner. Oh, and I need to tell you guys my UPS story. So a lot of the times when I get packages from brands that are overseas, oh goodness, I always wipe out the moisture with a Q-tip in my eyes. It's not a pleasant looking process, so I never like include it in videos. Um, I'm going to put on dark brown because I don't know. I just love it. Um, a lot of the times when I get packages from brands overseas, I have to pay a customs fee. So yesterday I had kind of like a mental health day. I just really needed one, so I took one. and. I think this was the first time I sat down and watched a movie in almost like six months. I never sit down for anything. 
Uh, I watched an episode of Parks and Rec the other night and I was like, who am I? I'm so like, <laughs> I'm so indulgent. I was on the couch downstairs and the way that my house is, I'm upstairs, then we have a downstairs, then we have a third floor, which is where like the doors to go outside are. So it's like the main floor, but it's hard to explain. That's just a garage and like another room. When I'm on the couch in the living room, I can always see right outside the window and I can see the UPS truck. I was on the couch and I saw the UPS truck and I was like, oh, cool. And I waited for the knock and it never happened. So I, being a normal human being with a normal human mind, came to the assumption that this person just didn't need anything from me. I didn't need to sign for anything, it was fine. So I just waited until the person left because I thought it'd be kind of creepy to just sort of show up downstairs. I don't know, they didn't knock. They didn't knock and that's like the main thing I wanna say. Um, is this person did not knock on the door and tell me that they needed anything, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. So I go downstairs after the truck leaves, and there's a notice on my door that says I need to pay a customs fee. It's not even something where like, maybe they knocked and I just didn't hear it, no. I was right there, the TV was off, I was listening for the knock. It said that they would be back today from 2 to 4, and I was like, alright, I'll just carve out some time then. And so I get- oh god, I just like smudge mascara everywhere, I'll have to fix that in a minute. But I get downstairs um, and I took Maka for a walk around like one. And the person left another notice at sometime before one o'clock. I know tomorrow I'm gonna miss them again because they're not gonna knock and I'm gonna totally miss this package. And their solution to me was that they could now hold this package at a UPS store because their delivery people can't knock on my door. It's really annoying. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some Red Cherry 43 lashes. Since I can't talk while I'm doing this anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and I'll be right back. I just kinda went off camera and redid my little bun. Uh, Cause right after this, I have to go film an outfit of the day before it gets dark outside. I'm going to take this lip liner from Ulta, which is called Bear, and just redefine my lips. Now I'm going to use the shade Comet, and this is a liquid lipstick from Rimmel, over the top of that. Okay guys, so that's the completed look. I'm sorry the lighting got a little bit different here towards the end, um, and I'm also sorry if I'm getting lipstick on my teeth. It hasn't dried yet, but I've got to go film this outfit of the day. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.